Welcome friends to this video. We're going to do a lead code problem. The problem that we're going to solve today is count items matching a rule. And we're going to do this in Python. So first let's take a look at the problem. Then we'll take a look at an example and then we'll code the solution. All right. So if you're given array items where each item at position I it has a type color and a name describes the type color name of the I item. You're given a rule represented by two strings, the rule key and the rule value. So the I item said to match a rule if one of the following is true. So the rule key could type and rule value could equal type. The rule key color and rule key rule value could be color and rule key name and rule value name. All right, so what does this mean? All right, so let's take a look at the example. This is pretty easy to understand once uh, you go through the example. So what we have here is items and we have phone, blue, and pixel. Really what that means is type, color, and name. In the next list, we have computer, silver, and Lenovo, and phone, gold, and iPhone. So essentially that's our input items. And then what they give us is rule key, color, is in the value silver. So we basically want to look at the color, which is the second item, and find out if it has the value of silver. So if we look at this one, no, yes, this one does, this one, no. So basically what our output should be is we have one item that matches the criteria. Let's take the next one here. We have a type of phone. So this one is a phone, yes. This one's computer, no. This one's a phone, yes. So we have output of two. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. Let's go ahead and design our solution. Or essentially, uh, what we're gonna do is we're going to create a dictionary with what we have shown here as the, the rule key and the rule value. And then we're going to enter in the type color and the name. And then we'll start a counter. And then whenever we uh, are checking for that item, then we'll go ahead and return it. So let's, let's try it out. Looks something like this. So our dictionary is going to look something like, whoops, uh, let's say type. Whoops, if I can type. And that will be our zero position. And then our next one is color. And that one will be our first. The next one is name. And this one would be our second. So that's kind of our dictionary that we're going to set up. All right, next, what we have is count. We're going to start a counter at zero. So each time that we count one of these, we'll add to it. So then basically now we're going to do a for loop and we're going to loop through each one of these and check to see if the rule value exists. So that would look something like this. So for item in items, items is our list here. So we're basically going to call each one of these as an item. And we're going to say if the item in our dictionary and we're gonna look for the rule key and we're gonna check to see if the rule value equals the rule key. And if it does, then we'll increase the counter. And then we want to, at the outside of the for loop, return our count. count. All right, let's go ahead and run it. Okay, uh, we should probably run both all test cases. So let's do all test cases here. All right, yeah, so b both of them were successful. All right, hopefully that all makes sense. Uh, if you have any questions, leave those in the comments. And thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.